You're given a keyword list for indexing any document or if you've generated one as you work through the document, whatever the case may be, that makes it a lot easier to actually develop the index once you're done laying out the document. Um, this is a manual that I've been working on for a bit and I thought it was a great time to kind of update efficient ways to work through indexing because Adobe doesn't necessarily give you the little efficiencies that are going to help. A few things that you'll want to be aware of is showing hidden characters. So you'll see right now I, I have this list. This is my list brought into its own document and the hidden characters are showing here. So you'll turn those on in your type menu and show hidden characters. Um, it will say show hidden characters if yours are not already on. And you want to be aware of that because as you're working through the list, you want to see the markers. These markers correspond with the reference and topic lists that are currently in this index window. But in any case, when you begin, if you're given that list, maybe it's in an email or in an Excel document or you generated it in a text document, you want to get that list into an InDesign document really by itself. No other things except that keyword list. Once that keyword list is in an InDesign document, it can be exported into your topic list. So you would go to index window, so that's window, and you go down to type and tables and index, and then you go um, from there, you would go to import topics. And what that'll do is open your finder and ask you to grab this, this actual InDesign file. The problem is if the document has previously had an index or you've copied content from one InDesign file into another, I've noticed that even though I've updated this list, it doesn't pick up the updates. I found it very frustrating. So what I learned the hard way was to copy that list, actually select your whole index list and copy it into the end of your document. Just the very end of your document, a next page, a blank page, and get that list into the document itself. And what that will let you do is actually highlight that list and then you can do command option shift and your left square bracket and it'll make a topic list for you. So in this one I've got a list, but if I selected everything, command, option, shift, and my left square bracket would actually move all of these words into that topic list. It would do it um, automatically, and they're all in there, and you know that you have all of them. You always want to check. Just do kind of random check, especially if you have new ones that you added. So that's the first thing. It's very helpful to have a list rather than generate one as you go. But um, in any case, when you're doing an index, you're still traveling word by word or term by term and getting that into the reference, finding the page reference for that. And what you may have to do if you don't have that list in your document is do a find and change, command F, find the term, go to a page, highlight it, do a reference and add all and etc. So. What I do here is I'm just going to go to this document and I brought the list in. I've been working through it and um, I pasted this in, this list in. So this is the last page, the current last page of the document and I pasted the list in at the end. So what I was having to do before was go to my reference list, I would double click do Command C as a quick way to get a copy of that. Double click, Command C, cancel, Command F. I would paste it there, and it's, it's just pasting some other stuff right now, but I would actually paste that into there, find next, highlight it, and then I would do Command 7 to add that into the uh, reference. It was a pain. So the best thing you can do is get that list and then make sure that it's clean of markers. So when I say clean of markers, if I go back to my list here, you can see I have markers on all of it. If I select all, so I'm making a selection of where the items I want to remove those markers from, 
and I'll do Command F to bring up my find and change. And I'll go down here to this symbol, which is the index symbol. And I previously had that in there because I actually copied it from content in there before. And then you want to change it to nothing. So then I change all and make sure that it's the selection, not document. Because if you do that, you can do that when it's in your document, but you don't want to find all of those in your whole document and undo all of your markers. So you want to be pretty careful, but I'm just doing the selection. So I change all and it says 399 of them have to be replaced. So in here, in this list, I have 399 of those markers. So I'll say, okay. And they go away and you can see it's removed it from the reference as well. The, the reference has none of my markers anymore. It doesn't have any of these words in that reference list. So that's, that's fine. So I would copy this over which I've done in this document. I copied it over without those markers and you can see there's my list and I'm traveling through it and I'm only at the C's right now, but that's okay. I will get through it and I'm just going to zoom in here so I can see. So these are some that I've done. So I'm going to go down to the developing website now. So I highlight that, do command seven, and Command-7 is opening from this flyout menu. It's opening the new page reference. So Command-C to, uh, to copy. Command, so actually, you don't even have to copy. You just highlight it. You can go right to Command-7. And then um, make sure that uh, you won't, depending on how your list is curated, you won't have to do any editing. But if there is something that you want to edit, just take a quick look at it. And then you do add all. So developing a website, I'll do add all. And done. And then I'm going to go over into D here and see uh, developing a website. And it's on page 64 and 307. So then the good thing about this is you think, well, now I've got this list, but once you delete the list, it's going to delete that reference page. So right now I'll delete that and be sure to delete the marker. And there goes that page for developing a website. I'm just going to keep this in here to keep track of my work, but you can bring that list in. You don't have to find and change because what I was doing otherwise, I was actually going to um, going here double clicking, copying, press cancel, command find, command F to find, paste, and then I was doing find next, going to it, and then doing command seven. It was like just extra steps that were unnecessary. So if you can get that list into your document, then you can just travel the list. Do command seven, add all, command seven, add all. And you don't even really have to check. Once you realize it's working, like, okay, it's working. Then when I'm done this list, I will uh, delete the whole list, which will delete all page references from there. And then I can go forward and generate my index. So I highlight command seven, add all. Okay. Highlight command seven, add all done and just keep traveling the document like that and a good thing is if it is something that you have in your index that you um, that in, isn't actually in the document it's going to it's going to collect the page that this list is on but if it's on no other pages when you delete the list it will actually delete itself out of your reference so it won't put an unnecessary um, reference topic in your index with no page numbers um, associated with it. So that's good. So I, I had to make sure all that was working at first, but then now I can just travel this list and when it's all done, all the page numbers are collected and I'll delete the list and then I'll go forward and generate the, um, the index. Now if you're doing cross-referencing and you're doing specific levels. I'm not really leveling any of this. I'm not doing cross-referenced. I'm doing a very basic index for this document. 
If you are doing those, then you're going to want to look a little deeper into um, setting your levels and everything and setting up the cross-referencing. But this is a very, um, th not very efficient, but the most efficient way to work with a um, pre-developed keywording list for the index and just get through it quickly.